Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode 10 with our series here, our random planet playthrough. We'll go ahead and take a look. I've let things run for a bit now. I ended up lowering them a little bit too much, so I've kind of turned a lot of the stuff around so you can see that temperature is going back up a little bit. Pressure's on its way back up. Oxygen's still on its way back down. Water is just slowly building up. And so that's where we stand in terms of everything else, but we do have something to show off here. And that is that we've got our carbon fixer and our ice launcher research. So now we can finally officially start focusing on building hab domes. So I want to put the first hab dome here in um, founders. You can see it's plus 10 oxygen, plus 20 water. And if I do this correctly, I should be able to build four hab domes. So we'll put um, three of them here, like that. And we've got plenty of, I guess, money essentially to do this. And then uh, we can't put that one there. I don't have enough room. I think we can put one in pressure though. We can. And we'll put one here. And so now if I build an ice launcher, which I'll put here, which is minus 120 water. Oh, I think it's an ice launcher. Yeah, plus 20 water and plus 10 oxygen. So with four hab domes, that's 120 water and 40 oxygen. So if I build an ice launcher here, that cancels out the 120 water because it's minus 120 water. Plus it generates some credits, which is nice. And then it's got the minus 10 pressure. So, uh, we still have to cancel out the oxygen and the pressure. So if we go to pressure here, no, I'm sorry, oxygen. If we go to oxygen and we build ourselves a carbon fixer, that cancels out the 40 oxygen and the 10 pressure. Boom. So that, ladies and gentlemen who are watching, is how you effectively balance hab domes when you start building them. That is the key to balancing them so that the plant doesn't get all out of control. Now looking at these, it's gonna be done one hour and 52 minutes. Let's take a look at the other stuff. Cause obviously we want it to all be done at the same time roughly. So 56 minutes. And one hour and 53 minutes. So we'll leave those along. The only thing that might bother us for a little bit is the the um, carbon fixer and it won't be that bad for the little bit of time it's running. So I'm not even gonna worry about it. In fact, it'll almost help us because it's gonna be minus 40 oxygen and uh, we need to lower oxygen anyway. So by the time that extra hour goes by, that should get us right to uh, or pretty close to our goal. I'll actually even go ahead and just turn this O2 filter off. No, turn it off. Um, Cause that should put us right there. So I'm not gonna build any more hab domes. I'm gonna let those ones build. I know I could do another four hab domes and maybe another ice launcher and carbon fixer, but I just let it all build and double check and make sure everything is good. Um, everything is good before I do anything nuts with it. Now for research, let's see, what do we wanna research next? So there's not a whole lot we really need yeah, eventually I want all of this stuff researched, but I think it's time for us to finally go for the spaceport and research that. And I'll actually go ahead because I've got a lot of Genesis points I've been saving up. I'll uh, spend those Genesis points there and grab up the spaceport so I can throw it someplace. The new style of architecture is developing in oxygen, with which emphasizes unrefined edges and exposed elements. While still in its infancy, this new style is quickly being adopted. Okay. These will also have to be dealt with. And I think I would like to put the spaceport at Founders. Um, it's gonna be where I build most of my hab domes. Um, so why don't we go ahead and um, disable that and then demolish it. And I guess I'll just go ahead and spend the two hab points here so I can get the spaceport building. Uh, that is going to build 10 pressure. 
as well. So I need to keep that in mind. The space port will allow us to build satellites. It should allow us to colonize any moons we have. I believe we had one. And then it will also bring uh, more people into this area, which is perfect for founders because, like I said, it's where I'm going to focus on spending most of my or building most of my hab domes. All right, so I guess next would be to pick another research. We're going to need biomass here soon. But uh, why don't we go for the aquifer network so we can, we can start researching down to the comet sling because that's going to be our best bet for getting a lot of water. The 10 heat I can actually cancel out. And then I also need to, I have the minus the uh, 10 pressure I need to be able to cancel out for the spaceport. So why don't we enable that? I think we're building pressure up. Let's see. So we will disable this and we'll upgrade this. And then when the spaceport builds, it'll, build, it'll be um, plus four, which is good because we're still trying to build pressure anyways. And I'll let that run for a bit. And then eventually I'll use this to cancel all of that out. So that'll be nice. All these HAB units will eventually be replaced by HAB dobes. So they'll have to be deconstructed. I guess the last thing is just to check on money, which currently we have 49,000 coming in without anything here, but we'll uh, drop some stuff here anyways, just to make sure we keep plenty of money so when the time comes, I can use it. Um, things like satellites are usually pretty expensive. Um, when we start building lots of hab domes, whether it be on the moon or whatnot, that'll be expensive. So there'll be lots of stuff we're going to buy with our money. All right. That's pretty good. Let's see if I can get some silver. Really, that's uh, really not that good. I guess iron, even though it's really not worth that much, but I like to at least try to put two mines here per outpost. Get rid of these ones. And let's see if we get any rhodium or something. Uh, right here. Pretty decent amount. How about polydium? One of these had a huge reserve of it, but I guess I burned it all up. Not bad. All right, so that's our two mines. So overall, how much are we generating now? Almost 60,000. Okay, population's growing plus 13 a minute. Currently have 1,800, but that's going to start jumping rapidly, which will unlock a lot more culture points for us, which would be good because we're only independence 30% right now. We've got the money we need to win. Now we just need to get the independence, um, plus trying to make the planet actually look nice. Meanwhile, the temperature um, should be pretty good when I come back. Pressure, we know this is going to go in the positives once the spaceport's built. Oxygen, we're leaving alone right now just to see 
um, because we know the oxygen, um, uh, one of the buildings we're building is gonna bring this to like minus 40 for a bit, for at least an hour until all the hab domes are built and water is just doing its thing, which I'm fine with. Um, the global warming and the two cloud seeders. Eventually we're doing research right now so we can hopefully raise that qu quicker because that's gonna take a while to get there at plus 16 a minute. So we'll try to up that. But with that being said, we're at the end of this episode. I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.